my no, no vote, please. Sure. Everyone else like it recorded? Yep. Let's go. That's all. Uh, item number eight, members reports. What's everyone been up to? John, uh, we'll just go around the table. Uh, Councillor Body, um, have you got any things you'd like to report? Some things I will report on, Your Honour. Yes. Uh, I attended the Tahara College Prize Giving, the Liquor Licensing Workshop, Cowboy Sports Awards Dinner, just, Safety uh, Community Trust. Just slow down a bit. I am <laughs> 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 a married man, that's what I speak for. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so, secretary, uh, I can write it out if you need me. Give us a list later. Okay, okay cool. That's cool. Yeah. Oh, you want me to continue? Yes, please. Oh, full Thank page. you. Uh, Safety Community Trust AGM, uh, Minister McClay at the Plateau, White River and Day, Pihanga Reserve for some time. About an hour, swearing in of the new citizens and the Waihora House AGM. Thanks, Councillor Buddy. I've been busy. Councillor Hickling. Um, along with uh, our Deputy Mayor, I attended two AC bus um, inspections. I'm pleased to report that it's looking fantastic. It isn't, you'll see on, well, I hope councillors will go on the 11th of December for the celebration of uh, that finishing of the contract. Um, to me, it's, an, it's a new new facility. It looks a million dollars, in my opinion. Total change. So, uh, And I also uh, attended the uh, Waikato Sports Awards uh, dinner. Oh, the Tapo Sports Awards. Tapo Sports yep. Awards, yeah. Tapo. Yep. yep. Cool. Councillor Williamson. Yeah, well, I didn't actually get to make a list, but I did have been to two college prize givings, Sports Advisory Council funding allocation, and the Tapas um, Sports Awards. Thanks. Thanks. Councillor Williamson. Councillor Truman. Um, yeah, I've been to um, the Lakes DHB Topal District Community Health one on Friday. Thank you, Councillor Johns. Um, I won't go through a long list of where I've been, but um, maybe you might not, might not want to know. But um, <laughs> <laughs> one thing I did want to just bring to other councillors' attention is I've had been contacted by probably a handful of members of public in the past couple of weeks about the um, legal the legal drugs in um, Taupo and what. What, uh, who's granting the licences and bits and pieces. So I think from a comms point of view it might be quite useful to update the public on how that actually works, the fact that it's the DHB that are issuing the licences and it, that it's the police that are enforcing it. Um, there seems to be quite a level of concern in this community regarding the sale of legal highs. And I understand from talking to Tina that there will be a workshop next year because Council does play a role in deciding where those shops are. But um, I urge you just to have a check on the Ministry of Health website. Tina's got some links as well, which are quite useful, um, because it does seem to be a question that's coming in. Right. Thank you. Councillor Harvey. Yes, um, I also went to Tower College Prize Giving, which I found absolutely fabulous. I haven't been to one quite some time. Um, I went to Tower Sports Awards, which I found very rewarding. It was wonderful to see that. Um, in my profession, of course, I've been lobbied quite a lot in the, with the new CVs. Very of you would appreciate, and yes, it's been a very, very mixed reaction. Um, and, and yes, it's been a yeah, quite a challenging situation and a bit frustrating, as I said, that perhaps more of the industry wasn't consulted on that um, when they were brought in, and that would be something that would be nice to perhaps have more of a hand in next time. Some of the real estate companies could certainly um, have offered some more advice on that. That would be good to see where that goes next time. Thanks. Against the crate. I've been to most of the uh, activities and enjoyed the company of many fellow councillors at prize givings and sports awards and things like that. Also, the uh, Taupo Mobility Access uh, Group uh, that uh, I've belonged to for the last uh, three years, still good work going <coughs> on in making sure that we cater for all of our uh, people that do need mobility access. 
Yesterday I went to the Regional Transport Road Safety Committee and this was called as a result of a, a, a coroner in Hamilton saying that something's got to be done about all the cycling deaths that happen in our area, which is Waikato, they're the highest in New Zealand, I, I, Waikato particularly. Uh, I gave a 20 minute presentation on our road users group that Dennis and I have been attending with all the road users uh, in our district to do with uh, cycling, everything, to do, uh, horse riders, uh, pedestrians, everything. And Poipi Road still remains one of the most uh, at-risk <coughs> roads in the whole of New Zealand in terms of accidents. And we don't only record deaths, they've also, the police have also got a record of every single minor and may uh, a serious accident in there. So that was uh, yesterday and just, that's going to be followed up uh, quite a lot to make sure that if as we have got the home of cycling that is based in uh, Hamilton uh, sorry Cambridge it's going to make sure that we do see it, we are seen to be safe have safe roads around uh, particularly in our Bay, Bay, uh, in our Waikato area sorry uh, and it was good to have a visit at the Advantage Rome and we'll Samuels will be interested in this because of all the work he did a couple of years ago. It opens on March the 29th. It is absolutely a world-class facility. It has been fully, fully tenanted by all of the different, and uh, you would know about it too, Lisa. For, for Laura, so fully, Lisa, I've got it right this time. Um, fully tenanted by a lot of different organizations, and it's going to be a boon for our district and uh, that, that was I was proud to go around that. So that's me, uh, your Thank worship. You. Great, You've been very busy. Good boy. Uh, I've been to quite a few community meetings and things like that, and um, was at the Tiringitonga Community Board yesterday. It was a really positive meeting. Uh, the board are looking really looking forward, and Tiringitonga were there, and they're really building that relationship. And I think it's going to be really positive for the district and for our end of the lake down in Tuyangi. Great. Thanks, Councillor Stewart. Councillor Park. Uh, yes, um, informally we've had quite a few relationship catch-up meetings post the election, which have been good because there's been no pressure <laughs> to answer any questions. Um, the Safe Kids Expo on the 5th and 6th of November, which saw approximately a 1,000 year 3 to 5 students um, through on a number of different safety issues, and I'd like to thank um, His Worship for his attendance on all days. Um, the launch of EGLT's Great Opportunities Business Magazine, uh, Topol District Sports Award as a guest of Mighty River Power, um, which was um, appreciate Mighty River Power um, trying to keep their strength in their relationship with council. I'm more than happy to help facilitate that. Shield Consultants uh, welcomed a new partner, Phil Riley, so it was a pleasure to attend on behalf of the council to uh, welcome him. Um, Enterprise Great Lake Topol event with the Honourable Todd McClay. Uh, White Ribbon event at Pihanga Reserve, uh, the Waikato Civil Defence Emergency Management Joint Committee in Hamilton. Uh, really interesting and uh, a great initiative up there with uh, the Mystery Creek Event Centre, which hosted the event um, and showing a prime <coughs> um, example of corporate citizenship in offering themselves as an alternate EOC in the case of a, a disaster. The Mystery Creek <coughs> Field Day, or where Mystery Creek Field Days are held, can tempt up to 18,000 people. So to go through that facility and to see the big Red Cross trucks and welfare pods and everything else was really fascinating. I also attended the Moore FM Women in Business um, for November and also uh, attended the Turangi Tongariro Community Board meeting yesterday afternoon, which was great to have some uh, just some local feedback from the community on the the review on the Turangi facilities, which has just been done. And yeah, I, I thought it was a great collaboration with local iwi down there and the new board. It's good to attend. Great, thank you, Councillor Mark. Councillor Cousins. I attended the Tongariro Sports Awards with uh, Your Worship, which was, I've got to say, a little bit of a letdown and definitely a work in progress for us. We've really got to pull our socks up. Um, Happy. It's been my big mission for the year coming to get young people at least turning up for their, to get their award. 50% turnout was not good enough. Uh, we had the, oh, attended the Go Tongariro meeting, which started off very slowly, but they're fully inspired and working closely with them. And I've now been appointed back as their, uh, as a council um, representative to that group. 
Uh, I've met with the Mutual Welfare Repair Association uh, chairman. I'm trying to bridge the gap between, bridge the, do some mediation there between them and the Mutual Welfare Boat Club. They've had a big split up, big bust up, and I'm trying to mend that. I'm not going very well with it. I uh, had a uh, community board meeting yesterday with um, councillors Park and uh, Stuart. I attended a Thanksgiving service at the Church of the Cross in Tulangi for the services, fire, um, ambulance and police. And the rest of the time I've been avoiding angry mobs of disgruntled ratepayers about their rateable values. <laughs> You need to put some security around you. I know. <laughs> They're not <laughs> happy. <laughs> and that is me. Okay, thank you very much, Councillor Collins. Okay, there's a. Um, yeah, I'd just like to um, acknowledge Councillor Park and the work she did for the Safe Kids uh, Expo. It was Safe Kids um, a couple of days uh, there. That was fantastic work, and, and a, lot of work, a lot of your personal time went into it. Uh, Councillor, so I really appreciate that on behalf of the community uh, and, and, and the kids as well. Um, I've just I've been to uh, obviously a lot of meet and greets and bits and pieces, um, uh, which most of you uh, good people have attended, um, but a couple of external ones. The, uh, yesterday, the mural forum in Cambridge. That's the uh, Waikato Mayors. Um, so that was a uh, interesting meeting yesterday, and also Zone Two meeting in a Podiki on the 8th of November, uh, which is uh, basically all meet and greet at the stage, but uh, trying to get into the work streams as we go forward. So, uh, yeah, thank you, councillors, and appreciate all the good work you're doing out there. It's, um, it's uh, you know, I'm getting positive, good feedback from everyone, and, uh, you know, just like to let you know that it doesn't go unnoticed, and um, appreciate appreciate what you do for, on behalf of the council. Uh, suggested resolution there that reports be received, and I have a move for that, please. Councillor Cousins and Councillor Body, thank you. All those in favour, please say aye. Aye. Those against, carried. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, we'll now uh, I move a resolution to go into uh, confidence um, for matters uh, for matters outlined. Move Councillor Park and uh, seconded by Councillor Cousins. All those in favour, please say aye. Aye. Those Gary.